Good day, everybody. This is Mark of Music and Mental Health, and I have a topic that is relevant to a lot of you that I'm going to be breaking down in a series of videos, and that topic is dealing with a narcissistic supervisor or manager at work. Chances are, if you are looking up this video and you are figuring out ways to try to deal with a narcissistic manager, it means they already got the drop on you. And what I mean by that is you don't discover a narcissist up front or overnight usually. They probably have done a series of things to make you question, is this person a narcissist? Are they manipulating me? Are they gaslighting me? This leads me right into the very first thing that you need to do is learn the narcissist playbook. Honestly, there are many videos and books that you can look up that will deep dive into exactly everything of what a narcissist is, and that's what I did. But all I wanna do is break down just a few tell all signs that you are dealing with one in your work environment. A narcissistic boss will tend to be a dictator, my way or the highway. They do not want you to ask questions. They want everything to go a specific way and have a specific protocol. It doesn't really matter what is the best way in the best interest of the company, it's an ego thing. Almost in a sense of if your parents told you you have to do this thing a certain way and if you said, hey, mom or dad, I thought about it and I think that this way might solve the problem better and they say, I'm your mom or I'm your dad, do it the way that I said to do it. That's how a narcissistic boss tends to work asking questions or recommending changes in a process that they have defined to them feels like a challenge or that you're questioning them or questioning their authority. A narcissistic boss tends to think that they have no flaws. So if ever something goes wrong with a process or with one of their employees, they're always going to blame the employee and never take any responsibility themselves. Even if it might be a case where they told you to do something, you executed it the way that you were told and it failed, narcissists are not really leaders. They don't have leadership qualities. They just have the quality of authority. I'm the authority, I'm gonna throw you under the bus, and I'm not gonna admit that I had any part of this problem. A narcissistic boss is somebody who will blame you for your failures and take credit for your successes. If they tell you to do something and it happens to not be the best way or you fail based upon at least partially the instructions that you were given, they will blame it on your execution or your inability to comprehend or anything that they can think of, especially when they're talking to upper management or administration. They're always gonna say, my good for nothing employee couldn't get the job done instead of taking responsibilities for any of those actions. They have a constant need to give you instructions. And sometimes, and in some cases, on things that you don't need instructions for. Have you ever been in a position where the job function generally does not change, but your manager reaches out to you all the time and says, hey, do this like this. Hey, do this like that. Make sure you're doing this. Make sure you're doing that. You already know what you're supposed to do. You already know how to do it. But they're telling you all the time, do this and it needs to be done this way. They want to feel that authority all the time and they want the response from you to be, thank you so much for giving me these instructions. I didn't see it that way. This is useful for me. They need constant validation and praise. And if they don't feel like that, they're gonna come after you. Gaslighting, and this is a big one and it's difficult to tell when it's happening. Have you ever encountered a boss who always gets into your supervisions or any of your interactions and tells you of all the different things that you're doing wrong and you think to yourself, I have to be doing something right. Or they'll take a conversation that you and them were engaged in 
and you know how the conversation went. You know what they said, you know what you said. You might bring it up. Hey, I would like to hash this out or discuss this just to get on the same page. And they say, well, you said this, you became combative. All I was trying to do was this. I'm just trying to help you and put you in the best positions to succeed, etc., etc." And then you get out of that conversation and you say, wait a minute, I don't think that it actually went like that. Gaslighting is a way of distorting one's perception of reality by spinning things a certain way, adding in your own facts, and making that person question their own memory and their own sanity. And narcissists are very good at this, and they do this in an emotionless way. If you have ever been in a conversation with somebody like that, you see them sometimes spitting lies very casually. And, and they're so sure about those things that they're telling you that you start to say, am I sure about the things that I'm saying? Am I remembering this incorrectly? This happens in relationships and the same thing can happen in your workplace relationship with your supervisor and that is a dangerous place to be. They tend to focus on criticism rather than praise. You are only gonna get praise if you have done something extremely well that benefits them and maybe is even something that their management has pointed out that one of their employees are doing. They're gonna be very happy about that. But your everyday thing and your average things, they're just gonna be telling you, you need to do more of this, you haven't done enough of this, you made this mistake, so don't expect any praise out of them because it's going to be very rare. A narcissistic manager tends to talk at you and not to you. Have you ever found yourself in a conversation with your boss where it feels like you're talking to a robot? You're like, okay, we're in this meeting, we're in this one-to-one -one supervision, and I have these points that I wanna to bring to the table, or I have these needs, I need support, I need training, whatever it is. And you talk to them, but they're just going through their agenda. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What do you think of that? And then you start to give your thoughts, and then like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Meeting over. So they're not really speaking and listening, they're just speaking. Thank you for joining me for part one of my series about dealing with a narcissistic manager at work. A summary is that you need to know who you're dealing with and what they bring to the table. Know the characteristics of a narcissist. That is your starting point. And please like, comment, subscribe to the page for more on this series. Part two, I will be diving into a little bit more about how to deal with these tactics.